The days are getting longer, so that means it's time to get the winter grunge off your daily driver. Or get that special car out of the garage and get it ready for spring. Now we're going to go over a checklist of all the things you should look for before that first warm weekend. And with us is car care expert Mike Pennington from McGuire's. So how you doing, Mike? Good, good to see thanks. You. Now, we started off with a good hand wash, and tell us why that's important. Washing that vehicle and getting all that road grime is very important coming out of those winter months. The best thing you can do for it before you wax it again is get rid of the road, the salt, the road grime, all that. And the most important thing there is do not use dishwashing soap. Yes. That is actually horrible. That will strip your wax protection and potentially dry that paint out even quicker. Hmm. So never use dishwashing soap. What you want to use is a pH balanced car wash that's designed for automotive finishes. We're also not supposed to wash in direct sunlight. Tell us why. Well, you know, it's a beautiful day out, the sun's out, you want to pull the, uh, the hose out and really wash your car, but if you think about it, the surface temperature of that paint is going to be very warm, mm -hmm. and as you're washing that vehicle and working around it, that water is going to want to dry and evaporate, and that potentially could be uh, hazardous because it'll leave behind the deposits and really possibly damage your finish and create more work. That's right, and you don't want to create more work for yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and if you can't find any shade, work early in the morning or late in the afternoon. That's, again, going to be the best possible thing for your finish. And don't forget, you know, coming out of winter, you're always going to want to wash your wheel rails really well, your, your wheels, your tires, uh, under your fenders. I mean, really, that's the time to get rid of all that stuff that Mother Nature has left behind on the roads. Be sure to inspect your underbody, including your brake and exhaust components. You want to look for anything like rust or holes or something that could cause a problem in the future. And now the, the next phase of this is once it is washed, is to evaluate the surface. Right. So as you can see on this, there's some minor things. I see some light swirls, a couple little scratches. scratches yeah. Yep, we have some bugs left behind. Got a couple of small chips. And what's great about these small chips is they can be repaired pretty easily. Uh, at home, mm. but if you have anything large, any dents or any larger damage, we recommend taking it to a professional. So a uh, blemish that's particularly hard to remove is a bug splat. Now how do we get rid of those? Well, I see a couple of those on the front end here, mm -hmm. and there's actually a lot of great products on the market that are designed to remove bugs. Our bug splatter sponge is actually a two-sided material that has fabric on one side and foam on the other side, and that makes it safe just about on any surface. Mm. In fact, bugs that are on glass, headlights, glass or plastic, even plastic grills, this is a great product for that. Simply take that fabric side, wipe that bug, flip it over, wipe it off, take your towel, wipe it dry, and they're gone. Very nice. Again, it's important when removing bugs to use the safe, proper tools because some of these harsh chemicals can actually damage some of these sensitive areas. So always use a product that's designed to remove bugs safely. Now, this is also a good time to lubricate your locks and hinges. Now, for your hinges on your doors and your hatches like this, you're just going to use a WD-40 or another petroleum-based lubricant. For your locks, you're going to want to use a graphite-based lubricant. Okay, so now our car is clean, the bugs are gone, is it time for wax? Not just yet, and a lot of people make that mistake as going straight to wax when they really need to do a couple more steps beforehand. Mm. In fact, while this car may look good, go ahead and feel it with your hand. And, and what do you actually feel on that? I feel some grit and some debris or something in there, yeah. And what you're feeling there is actually bonded contaminants, and that happened over the winter months because you probably haven't had a chance to wash your car regularly. That's true. But it's easy to remove that, and that's where clay bar technology comes in. It's been a fantastic secret of the details for many years, but now anybody can go to the local store and purchase clay bar technology. Mm -hmm. All you simply do is grab a lubricant such as our quick detailer, liberally mist the surface and take your clay bar and just begin to lightly work that surface. And so you're not, not pushing hard, just gently. No, light, light pressure. And what's great about clay bars is they can be used on automotive paint, automotive glass, plastic headlights, even wheels for that matter. And if you take a look at oh, yeah. there what you we go. removed off that's, the again, And that's after we washed it. That so. is exactly right. Those are all those bonded contaminants that were removed. Now you simply, let's wipe this off. Feel that surface now. Oh yeah, now and it's as now smooth it feels as glass, like glass now. Yeah, it's nice. Now it's time to wax, right? Not just yet. We've created a smooth as glass finish with the clay, but it's time to remove swirls, oxidation, and stains. Those are actually below surface, and that's done quite easily with a, a clear coat safe compound. Now that sounds like a lot of elbow grease. What if I don't want to work that hard? Well, in the past years there might have been some elbow grease, but we've launched a brand new tool called the DA Power System that takes all the work out of it. Let me show you how that works. It takes any standard corded drill that you have at your house, attaches to the end of it, and it turns your drill into a DA uh, dual action polisher. Huh. 
Okay, you can see it there, it's spinning and it's rotating. That is exactly what it's doing. So what that does is create a safe environment so there's no way to damage that paint, whether you're compounding, polishing, or waxing. Now, how hard do you push on this thing? I mean, can you, if you keep going over the same spot, will you damage it? It's virtually impossible because of that dual action uh, of the head itself, not gonna damage that paint. All you simply do is take a clear coat safe compound, like our ultimate compound, apply it to the compounding pad, and set it on the paint and begin to work in overlapping uniform motion. It's doing all the work for you, so all you need is light to moderate pressure, especially when you're compounding. But what's great about this tool, it can also be used for polishing and even waxing. Now, can we use the same pad for waxing too? No, you're gonna actually wanna use our waxing pad. So let's go ahead and take that off. And if you feel our waxing pad, it's extremely soft. Oh yes, it's and much it's softer than that. Designed just to simply spread that wax evenly on that paint finish so it's gonna be easy to wipe off. So go ahead and put that on there. All right. You can use any of your favorite waxes. Here I'm gonna give you our ultimate liquid compound, which is our best wax. Sounds good. And I'll check back on you in about five or 10 minutes. All right. Great. The Jeep is looking really good. Are you just about done here? Uh, I am just about good. done. I'll tell you what, it looks 10 times better than it did when we first got <laughs> Absolutely. in Absolutely. And it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be either. Well, here's a question for you. This is a 2010 car with 2010 paint. What would be the differences between my 1963 Pontiac and its paint and this car? Well, the great thing about products that are safe on uh, you know, cars like this Jeep that have modern clear coat, um, they're gonna work just fine on your vehicle over there. Mm -hmm. So whether you use the washes, the compounds, the clay bars, the polishes, the waxes, or even the spray detailers will work fantastic on Big Ronda over there. So uh, I can't wait to see what she looks like and get her ready for summertime as well. Well, so I get to work. I got a lot of work to do. Okay, get to work. Now, before I get to Big Ronda, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that's weather stripping. As you can see on this car, it's still pretty good, but if it was cracked or mildewy, you'd want to replace it. Otherwise, you can just spray it down with some silicone and wipe it clean, and you should be good to go. Okay, so now this Patriot is clean and Looks shiny. Great. Now tell us what we can do to keep it looking this way all summer long. Well, that's the easy part, and that's all about frequent car care. There's a lot of great products to do that, such as spray detailers. They're designed to quickly and easily remove dust, fingerprints, even some light bugs mm -hmm. uh, in between washes. In fact, we make a lot of great spray waxes too that are designed to maybe offer a, a boost coat of wax if you're getting ready to go cross country or on a cruise somewhere. They can be really good for extra protection. Then of course the big one is wash it frequently using the right car wash. pH balanced car wash, quality wash mitt, quality drying, don't work in the sun. And it's those little simple tips that are going to keep your vehicle looking good all the way through and let you enjoy it looking good. So. Getting this vehicle ready for summer is not just a case of washing and waxing. Yeah, so if you remember on this Jeep Patriot, we remove some bugs, uh, we use the correct compound to take some small swirls out. We in fact clayed this car to get rid of some of that road grime mm -hmm. that accumulated over winter. But now that she looks good, it's gonna be very easy to keep it looking good all through the summer months. And so these short little steps will pay long dividends in oh, the end. Absolutely, not only for the car, but you're gonna feel much better about it when you're driving it. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.